Hi guys, I go by the name of Illuminous Eyes. I'm here to illuminate the wise. I got the next 48 message for Aries, so let's get into it. Please don't forget to press the subscribe and like button if the message resonates with you. If it happens not to resonate with you, please check your birth chart for your sun. Uh, I'm sorry, your moon, your south node, north node. Maybe that might resonate with other zodiac signs. Okay, guys, let's get into it. Can I get an important message, please, for Aries for the next 48? What's happening with Aries, please, for the next 48? Um, I think Aries, some of you guys could be trying to start a business. I think that you need to really focus on your finances. Some of you guys could be spending excessively. Others of you could be um, losing a job, walking off of a job. I see someone walking off of a job. I also see someone uh, spending a lot of money to get a business started. Someone could be walking away from an earth sign or a Libra. Heavy Capricorn, but this doesn't have to be subjected to Capricorn. This could be a Taurus or a Virgo. Um, but I, I do see heavy Capricorn. Or heavy Taurus. So somebody could be leaving a, a relationship. I feel like someone's... Um, leaving something that was very unstable. I'm hearing um, sturdy foundation. Unsturdy foundation. Excuse me. Can I get another card please for Aries? Thank you. Yeah, Aries. I feel like you're really following your intuition. I'm I'm thinking that you're in a really um I don't know if this is a family or if this is like a, a love situation, but I feel like you have to follow your intuition about leaving because something is really unstable here. I'm also getting that you You're not even in your own reading. So someone here is spending a lot of money. I feel like there's an illusion when it comes to the family. Someone could be in um, an abusive relationship or, or dealing with some type of depression regarding their relationship or family. Someone could be having a secret mistress or, or someone's um, hiding something with someone. With someone. Maybe they're hiding that they're, they're going to see this person, that they're sleeping with this person. could be like a family friend I feel like you really know that like something's not gonna work it's time to go you could be dealing with an Aquarius any water sign Scorpio Cancer Pisces a Libra a Taurus or a, a Capricorn can you explain to me please why the King of Cups is in reverse for Aries what is happening with the King of Cups for Aries, please? What is happening with the King of Cups, please, with Aries? I feel like um, you're, I feel like you're leaving the Hermit card, the Ten of Swords. I feel like the your. I also feel like your your business is going down. Some of you guys could be losing a business, losing job, losing income. I, I genuinely feel this has anything to do with the relationship. I feel like someone's leaving because something is too difficult. You can't even talk about it. Or this person is difficult to talk to. Again, you guys could be leaving a Virgo or an air sign. Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. You guys could be feeling off balance because you haven't talked to this person. You haven't seen this person. They could have ghosted you. Others of you, I feel like it's, um, it's time to... Um, I always look at the hermit as when the hermit or the star card comes up, I always relate that to health. So maybe it's time to, um, some of you guys could be feeling kind of sick. Something with the throat. I feel like you got to go buy medicine, but it's expensive. Anything else? What's the full card, please, for Aries? Why is the full card here, please, for Aries? Yeah, um, also you guys could be, some of you guys could be starting school, um, taking up a trade. <clears throat> I definitely see someone starting a new beginning with a relationship. 
with a water sign trying to really learn them get to know them i also feel like somebody's walking away from someone that they love i feel like you've learned all you can with this person i also feel like aries you may feel like this person um either deals with depression or they do fucked up things like maliceful things they've done this in the relationship this could be your own mother or your sister maybe you're learning how to be um cold because i'm hearing um icebox something where my heart used to be something i'm thinking that's marcus houston song icebox there's an ice box where my heart used to be or something like that. I feel like you're not taking your first and foremost. I feel like um, you don't want to think about your past anymore. You're no longer going to return to your ex. You no longer want to think about that. Others of you, I feel like um, there could be an Aries that stopped um, helping a water sign. Stop giving them some type of resources. This could even be love. Like I said, I also am getting the, the, the fact that someone who have may talk, stop talking to a sibling. Also, I feel like you know that you can't, if this is, has anything to do with a male Aries, I feel like you know that you can't marry this water sign or this air sign. I've, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing, I'm bad at love. A uh, hoo hoo. You know I'll be lying. Telling you, you be the one. A uh, hoo hoo. I feel like somebody's bad at love. They don't know how to love. I feel like it's time to learn how to love. Why is the high priestess here, please, for Aries? Yeah, I feel like uh, the high priestess is clarified by the lover's card in reverse. I look at the lover's card as a decision that needs to be made between mother and son. I feel like someone needs to reach out to their mom. I feel like um, you, maybe your mom has done things to hurt you, been very difficult. Maybe maybe they, they, weren't, they weren't supportive or they didn't help you. You could have had a really bad childhood. But it is time to um, make a decision. Um, regarding your family. If this has anything to do with. Um, if this has anything to do with relationships. I feel like you know someone has a secret. Um, a secret that they're hiding. Maybe they're cheating. Other, other than that. I feel like you know you need to follow your intuition. Because something is not working. You haven't made a decision completely yet. I feel like you know that this Gemini is hiding something or this Aquarius could be hiding something. Why is the Ten of Cups here, please, for Aries? Why is the Ten of Cups here, please, for Aries? Yeah. Ten of Cups in reverse, clarified by the Nine of Swords in the Temperance. You can't heal this situation. You have to heal yourself. I'm feeling like you've been, you've been thinking about leaving or you've been thinking about how stuck you are. You guys could be dealing with an, a Sagittarius. Some of you guys could have lost a child and now you need to heal your womb. If you're a woman, I could see that you're confused why I feel like... Um, You guys could have lost a child. Others of you guys could be getting off your period or getting it right now. Also, I feel like it's very clear to see that you're unhappy and that someone is lying to you. Have you on ear sign? The ear sign is liar. It's a liar. I think it's very clear that someone is trying to cause you emotional strife and unbalance you. Like I said earlier, I think it's very clear that it's time to go. There's a lot of depression here. A lot of decisions that haven't been made. Trying to be committed to someone that doesn't mean you good. Or you put the puzzles where the puzzle pieces fit. Okay, first card that came out was what? Only friends is the first card. So maybe somebody should have remained a friend. Or maybe someone's trying to main, remain a friend. 
tell me um tell me what else for aries sum up this spread please for aries where's my money yeah i feel also feel like someone owes you money and then they got ghost i'm feeling like you knew that you should have never gave it to them someone owes you money I feel like your job owes you money. I also feel like your your boss is an asshole. They pile a lot of work on you, but the pay doesn't equal out to the money. I feel like someone wants to leave this job. and I feel like you're a teacher, but you're not sure if that's what you want to do. I feel like you, you, you're not sure if you want to open up your own business because maybe you don't have the money or you would have to leave your job to do that. And, and that is a little bit difficult. Can I get one more card, please, for Aries? Can you sum up the reading for Aries? Husband. Yeah, I'm also feeling like um, somebody's not a good husband or someone's not a good wife. I'm feeling like you knew that you should have never married this person. They should have only been friends. Let me get a rebel card, please, for Aries. Let me get a rebel card, please, for Aries. Come on, Rebel Car. What's the best advice to get to Aries, please? Best advice to give to Aries. Best advice to give to Aries, please. It says, get the fuck out your head, Aries. Get in your heart. It misses you. Um, I feel like um, if you guys are dealing with an earth sign or an air sign, I feel like they're all in their head. I feel like um, they... they you can miss having communication with this person. I also feel like you are thinking, you're overthinking as a lot. It says stop texting, stop stalking, stop checking on that person. Just fucking stop. Spend your time on someone that's worth it. Don't waste it on ridiculousness. You guys could be dealing with a, um, a fire sign. I think I said water already, but if not water, one last card from the rebel deck, please. One last card, please, from the rebel deck. One last card, thank you. It says, Stop sleeping so damn much. Wake up. You are missing some cool shit. I feel like the, the water sign or the air sign is a fucking lazy. I feel like the, the, the fire sign or the earth sign, they're fucking nosy. They could be trying to stalk you, watching your social media, but they're not around physically. This or this could be you. You put the puzzle pieces where they fit. Okay, Aries. What other cards would I love to pull for you? Let's pull soulmate cards. Let's pull soulmate cards. I hope you guys like this. Again, I go by the name of Illuminous Eyes. I'm here to illuminate the wise. Please, guys, don't forget to press the subscribe button and like button. Comment if you feel necessary. I always uh, reply back if it makes sense. Okay. Can you give me a soulmate card, please, for Aries? Soulmate card, please, for Aries. Can I please get one soulmate card, please, for Aries? Thank you, very kindly. It says... Don't be afraid of losses. Don't be afraid of losing someone who does not want you. I feel like someone doesn't want someone here. They're fucked up. They have bad conversation or they talk to you weird or they talk to you mean. I feel like someone's spinning all day in their head about losing this person. How unhappy they are. Whether they should leave or whether they shouldn't. You guys could be married or not. Just really well committed. But I feel like there's a loved one here that someone loves someone, but it's also time to move on. Is what I see. Okay, Aries, I hope that inspired you to move to the next step. Again, please don't forget to press that subscribe and like button. You guys, peace and prosperity until next time.